part 91 of C-sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss retrieving data from thread function using callback method. This is continuation to part 90, so please watch part 90 before proceeding. In part 90, we discussed passing data to the thread function. In this video, we'll discuss retrieving data from thread function using callback method. This is what we want the program to do. Uh, the program is going to prompt the user to enter the target number. And let's say, for example, the user enters number 5. We want this program to compute the sum of numbers from 1 till 5 and then print their sum. And this is how we want to achieve it. Main thread should retrieve the target number from the user. Main thread should then create a child thread and pass the target number to the child thread. And then it is the responsibility of the child thread to compute the sum of numbers and then return the sum to the main thread using a callback function. And that callback function is then going to print the sum of numbers. So let's see how to achieve this. And the first step here is to create a delegate for the purpose of callback. Okay? And in a bit, we'll be creating the actual callback function. The signature of that callback function must match with the signature of this delegate. So let's go ahead and create this delegate first. We'll be working with the same example that we worked with in the previous session. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and create a delegate. So public delegate and the delegate is going to return void. And let's call this sum of numbers callback. You can give it any meaningful name you want. And this is going to return sum of numbers. So that's the signature of our delegate. All right. The next step is to, you know, modify this number class to support callback methods. So here, you know, this class already has a private field underscore target. So we are going to have another private field, and that is going to be of type, you know, the delegate that we have just created, sum of numbers callback. So sum of numbers callback, and let's call this underscore callback method. And then we are going to use this constructor to initialize this reference variable as well. So we are going to pass a parameter of type sum of numbers callback, and let's call the parameter callback method. So this dot underscore callback method equals whatever you know is coming into the constructor okay so pretty simple change until now and what we want this function to do uh, we want to print the sum of numbers so we need to change the implementation here so first of all within the function let's create a variable of type integer and let's call it sum and let's initialize that to zero okay and let's also change the name of this function from print numbers to print sum of numbers okay so that it's meaningful all right so instead of printing the numbers what we want to do we want to actually compute the sum so sum equals sum plus i so whatever value that we have within i plus the result that is already present in the sum okay so you know by this statement we have the sum computed now what should this uh, class do this class should call the callback method and then hand the sum over to that callback method and the way we do that is by using this delegate notice that this constructor is already initializing you know this delegate okay and the actual delegate will be pointing to a callback method if this is not clear at the moment don't worry it should be clear in just a bit so now what we're going to do we're going to check if this is not null and then we are going to call that callback method so if underscore callback method if that is not equal to null then go ahead and call the delegate and then obviously we need to pass it the sum of numbers and where do we have it we have it in this field so pass that to this delegate okay all right so we are done with this number class right now okay the final step is to actually consume this number class within the main method okay so obviously you know it's this program is going to prompt the user to enter the target number so we are reading the target number from the console screen and then 
remember we need to define a callback function within this program okay so the callback function signature that we are going to write now should match with the signature of the delegate that we have created that is sum of numbers callback delegate so basically here let's write a program let's call it public and the method has to return void and let's call it print sum of numbers you can give it any meaningful name you want and then you know it should take a parameter of type integer and you can again give it any meaningful name you want so basically this is going to be the function you know which the um, thread will call into and then hand over the sum and all this function is going to do is print the sum so console dot write line sum of numbers equals whatever is coming into this function okay so this is the callback function okay All right now let's go ahead and create an instance of our sum of numbers callback delegate so sum of numbers callback um, let's call it maybe callback equals new sum of numbers callback now what is a delegate a delegate is a function pointer it should point to a function now this is going to point to our callback function so just pass you know the name of the function here let's actually make this static so that we don't have to create an instance of this program class okay so this is our callback delegate and this delegate is pointing to you know this function alright now look at this this number class at the moment if you look at the constructor if you remember this constructor now has got two parameters the, the integer parameter and the callback delegate parameter so now we're going to pass the delegate instance that we have just created and we are going to create a thread and execute remember we have changed the name of the function it's now called print sum of numbers actually to keep things clear let's call this one to print uh, print sum so that there is a distinction all right now so the name of the function within the number class is print sum of numbers so let's go ahead and point to that function all right let's quickly run this look at the output and then we'll go over this entire program once more so let's run this so please enter the target number let's enter for example number five look at that sum of numbers is 15 all right so what's happening here now if you look at what we are doing here first of all look at this number class when we create an instance of this number class you know we are passing two things the target number and an instance of sum of numbers callback delegate now the sum of numbers callback delegate what is it pointing to it is pointing to this print sum function and what is print sum function doing it is simply printing the sum of the numbers so this way a parameter right here is going to receive the sum from the thread function okay because the thread will call into this function once it completes execution okay so this is our callback function so the point to keep in mind here is at the moment we have a delegate instance which is pointing to that function and we are passing that delegate instance you know to the number class constructor so once we do that what's going to happen that delegate you know whatever we have passed here you know this callback delegate it's now you know assigned to this one and what are we doing with that you know reference variable of sum of numbers callback delegate look at that to that we are passing sum which means you know this delegate right now is actually pointing to this function right here right so obviously when print sum of numbers you know it has completed calculating the sum it is going to hand that sum to this delegate and this delegate is pointing to this function so this function gets called sum is handed over to this function and this function is simply going to print that sum so that's how it works so we have this callback function and this delegate is pointing to that function and within the number class to that 
delegate we are handing over the sum which is going to delegate as a function pointer so obviously it is going to invoke that callback function pass the sum and that callback function within our um, main class you know within the program class is going to print the sum all right that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day